strengthening uh, things. The first one we need you to do is you're going to go through right side to that side. So we just need you to go through and do your high hamstring lifts and you'll go through and do 200 reps, right end of range. If this is getting too easy, I'll get you to put some weights uh, onto your chest, but end of range, keep your tummy tucked in and really drive through that last part, 200. Number two, off a uh, step that's about 25, just come and stand right in front, keep it rolling. I need you to jump off onto your bad leg, it's about 50 cm. What I need you to really concentrate on, you need to be doing it in front of some sort of mirror, you need to be jumping off, landing on the bad leg, and try and keep the knee to the outside. Think about keeping your knee over your little toe. So drop knee over the little toe. Don't let it come in. And also, as I'm saying, I want it to be a softer landing. So really think about nice, slow, controlled landing. No hopping forward. 25 reps. So make sure the knee stays on the outside. Nice and soft, 25. Jump for distance. At home, just get some little bits of um, sticky and work out where 130 centimetres is because you need to be trying to aim further than 130, preferably to 150. You're going to do a single leg takeoff, shoes on, and make sure the floor is not, uh, not going to be um, uh, slippery. Just move back a bit because on the landing, you're going to single leg, jump for distance. On your landing, I need you to be controlled. I needed to bend the knee, and I didn't do that beautifully, but don't let the knee come across. And I aim for your 130, so probably that's a better landing, nice and soft, bending the knee enough, and don't uh, let yourself go forward. So it's gotta be a really solid landing, 25 reps. And there, probably didn't get enough good control, landing again and bending my knee, but 25 of those. Thanks.